What happens when the Justice League fails and the world teeters on the brink of apocalypse and only the Legion of Doom can save it. Hey, super friends, Jake here with the Brave and the Boys, and we got a new absolute, so you know I have another absolute overview for you. This is Absolute Justice, done by Jim Kruger, with art by the amazing Alex Ross and Doug Braithwaite. So this is a phenomenal absolute, which was just voted on our list of top 10 absolutes that should be evergreen for DC Comics. This is a phenomenal story that just turns it up to 11. Every DC hero you've ever imagined is in it and has an incredible heroic moment there's twists and turns and things that will shock you and this might be one of the best absolutes of them all we're going to compare it to the old edition the new edition flip through the book show you some of my favorite parts without spoiling anything and show you why you need to pick this up and make sure you pick it up from organic price books i recently got an official you know position there i'm running all their social media doing customer support emails so i'll take care of you if you have any kind of issue but let's dive in before we get started though go ahead and smash that like button comment down below what you your favorite absolute is and let's dive in so here we go our look at the new reprint of absolute justice which was just voted in as one of our 10 evergreen absolutes so this is all about the legion of doom having to step up and this is so incredible because it the story was done by alex ross and jim kruger and the script was done by jim kruger but the art was not just Alex Ross. You have the pencils of Doug Braithwaite and then Alex Ross painting over it, Todd Klein on lettering, and Alex Ross on covers. And it is just 12 bombastic issues that need to be read in the absolute format. I think I had a deluxe edition that I gave Jordan, but you know what? I need to get that back now that I'm getting him an absolute edition. So it's going to start with the world ending. And this is a cataclysmic event of everything. Superman is trying to save people, Aquaman, and they're failing. They're not strong enough. There's nuclear Armageddon, and it is action-packed. Now, another absolute that I love is Justice League World's Greatest Superheroes, and a lot of those moments are a little more still. They're a little more like paintings. With Doug Braithwaite's pencils, it's a lot more action-based. So you have the League falling and you wake, you, they wake up and it's all the Legion of Doom. They're all having these nightmares that the world is ending and the Justice League can't save it. So that's that starts us off at Justice, which is the story of the Legion of Doom coming together, changing their ways, supposedly. And it is just a bombastic event. You get awesome moments with Aquaman's family, him being a father, a king, a husband. And you, I love the beginning when you see the Legion of Doom, like you have Captain Cold making an oasis in the desert and like they're using their powers for good and it's just something you never see and then there's that iconic super friends you guys know i love my super friends legion of doom and he fights black manta and he oh no what's happening all the sharks are attacking him his, his powers are failing him and you kind of have these two fractions of legion of doom one run by brainiac one run by lex luthor and you don't really know what's going on. And it's a mystery that slowly gets pieced out. This is an awesome Batman issue where Batman is going up against the Riddler. And what's crazy is that for a lot of this book, for over half of this book, the Justice League is losing. They are fighting. For over half of this book, the Justice League are fighting and they're losing. It, this seems like insurmountable odds. Here you have the toy maker. Here you have a member of the Legion of Doom and he's healing people in the desert and third world countries. And you have Batman fighting the Riddler and he just knows that the Riddler is going to leave him some sort of trail. You have the Flash going and seeing the Oasis that Poison Ivy built, that Captain Cold built. And they're just wondering, they're, they're knowing that the Legion of Doom, there's no way they're doing good things. They have to be up to something. And here you have Aquaman kidnapped and he has been kidnapped by Brainiac and... He's got a scalpel, and it is not looking good. He's about to be some fish sticks, if you know what I mean. So we'll skip ahead a little bit more. Martian Manhunter is searching the world for Aquaman. And, yeah, there's just it's crazy because every member of the Legion of Doom is so powerful when they're working together. And that's something the League never thought would happen. They thought that the League of the Legion of Doom were too evil, too conceited, too arrogant to ever work together. And one thing that's fun, there's a running thread line in this story of the Joker being left out because... The Brainiac and Luthor are too smart to ever team up with the Joker. So he's the one member that's not a part of the Legion of Doom. And you get to see what that does. So we'll skip ahead a little bit. This is awesome. Uh, they 
release the secret identity of all the members of the Justice League and they say, hey, the Justice League has not been doing enough. They could have fixed all your problems. They don't care. And then you have all of Superman's villains attacking Superman. So B Brainiac, so Bizarro just grabs him. And then you have Sinestro attacking Green Lantern. You have Scarecrow attacking Black Canary and Green Arrow. They're all being attacked by their villains. And they are kind of losing. They're 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 losing. You have Cheetah versus Wonder Woman, classic as it comes. But the most bombastic fight is between the Superman villains and Superman. So it's not just you know if you, if you thought that Bizarro was hard enough for Superman to fight, then Solomon Grundy, you know, born on a Sunday, joins in, and then Parasite. So it is yeah, it, and he's just calling for help. So this is an awesome story. Let's. Let's skip ahead a little bit. So this is a pretty haunting thing. Here, Green Lantern has been thrown into the farthest reaches of space, and the only way he could survive is by going inside his ring, and he just creates an artificial world where he's all alone. You have Flash. He's been running too fast. He can't stop. So basically, every member of the League of Hero, the every member of the Justice League is at their darkest moment, and the Legion of Doom is offering the Cities of Tomorrow to the people of Earth, and every member of the League has to come together. So some members of the League, you'll see, were under some mind control stuff and doing some things that they shouldn't do. I don't want to tell you much more about the story. We'll flip through the extras, and you'll have to see what happens when the Justice League goes up against the Legion of Doom at their full power and insurmountable odds. And I love that it's every character you've ever thought. So now we get into the bonus material, and you're going to see Jim Kruger talking about the villains and the heroes and the story. You get little character profiles of each of their characters. Aquaman being a big hero in this one, Black Manta. So just a lot of these cool character profiles. And they're all so iconic. Martian Manhunter is awesome. Gorilla Grodd was a great foil. So basically this book covers every <laughs> Justice League and uh, Legion of Doom character, Titans, all the Green Lanterns you can think of. It has all the characters you've ever wanted. One Roman goes through the gauntlet. And where she's at at the end is shocking. You will, Literally, your mouth is going to drop open when you see what happens with Wonder Woman. And Giganto was in it. So it's it's every character you could imagine. I feel like this is better for, for readers who are a little more experienced because you'll truly get all the wow moments. Captain Marvel was the MVP in this one. So a lot of extras. We'll jump ahead a little bit. Doug Braithwaite talking about his pencils. So this is one of my favorite absolutes ever, and it... I'd be on my top 10 now. I'll have to do an updated top 10. Let me know in the chat down below. But I want to thank you all so much for watching. I want to thank Organic Price Books for this review copy. Go ahead and smash that like button. Comment down below if you'll be picking it up. And keep reading and stay brave.